What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cleveland Browns depth chart breakdown. At quarterback, we've got Brian Hoyer. Uh, at running back, we got Fozzie Whitaker. Backing up him is going to be Melissa McGahee. Uh, fullback, we don't really use a fullback, um, but when we do, we're going to use Chris uh, Ogbonya. Ogbonya, is that how you say it? I don't know how you say his name. Wide receiver is up. This is going to change based off the personnel, based off this whatever set we're in, but I like my base play. Uh, I'll use B's at, or Devon Best at number one, Josh Gordon at number two, Greg Little at number three. For the five wide, we're definitely going to have Benjamin in the game, and then uh, I normally like to keep Jordan Cameron on the field. Um, and Gary Barnes, both 6'5", both got really good speed for their perspective height and weight and whatnot. Tight ends, I've got Cameron Barnes, just stock. Uh, Cameron is one of the best one of the best tight ends in the game, guys. Really good catch in traffic, really tall. Uh, defense, this is where you got to kind of pay attention. Uh, Cleveland Browns are really, uh, I think in my opinion, they're top 10 defense in this game, but you have to know how to set them up. Uh, what I like to do is at left end, I've got Paul Kruger. For the sub-236, remember we're using the Houston Texans defensive playbook. At least I hope we are. Uh, but that's the formation we're using. Um, Paul Kruger, and then we have the backups here. Um, right end, we got Desmond Bryant. In my opinion, one of the most underrated players in the game with that 6'5 uh, frame, 87 strength. I think his agility is or something. He He's just like, yeah, that's the 83 awareness. Not too bad there. So that'll be good. Defensive tackles. Uh, we don't really use defensive tackles in the 236, but... This is how it would be if we were to use them. Uh, just so just you know, that's just kind of what I do there. Left outside linebacker, we've got Bacarvius Mingo. 87 speed. He's going to do really effective uh, for pressure off that right edge and uh, with that 95 acceleration. A lot like Pac Patrick Willis, guys. Middle linebacker, we got Dequel Jackson. Um, for those of you who like to use their faster guys, um, you could sub in Craig Robertson here. You could sub in, uh, you could sub in, sub in Mingo, McGee, any of these guys. You can set this up however you want, but I like Jackson just because I like his hip power. I like that to be on the field. So, And then right outside linebacker, we have Paul Hazel, 85 speed. Uh, not as good as Mingo, but you know, 6'5", uh, decent acceleration, decent speed. Um, Going to be just every bit as good on that other side. Corners, we have Joe Hayden, uh, Buster Skyreen, pretty fast corners for the Browns. And make sure you do the back up, backups. McFadden, Owens is who I have, and then Posey. And then for the safeties, definitely make sure you do the backups here. Uh, I've got Johnson Batamosi at the free safety with a 91 speed. And then I've got Gibson and Slaughter backing him up. And then the strong safety, same thing, but TJ Ward's going to start. i got Slaughter Gibson backing them up. And then for kick returner, I've got uh, Benjamin. I also like to put in uh, Gordon, wherever he is. He's got that 92 speed. And then punt returner, definitely going to use Benjamin, that 98 speed. Third down running back, I like to have Whitaker there. So that is how we like to set up the Cleveland Browns roster. Be sure to save it before you go into game, guys. And we'll see you guys in the gameplay tomorrow. Thanks for watching this week, guys. I really enjoyed breaking down this scheme, and I hope it helps you get better. If you guys have any questions about the scheme or the depth chart for the Cleveland Browns or what other teams you could use for this defense, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.